So what I'm going to do is something that takes me out of my comfort zone quite a lot. Now, this is basically something that I have never really, I'm not say really struggled with, um, but it's always been something that has been around since I was much younger, since I was a kid. So typically, my body weight and how much I personally weigh is something that I don't really disclose to many people because it's kind of unimportant. Who really, who cares? Um, but in this instance, I'm going to tell you because all I'm going to do is do a journey. And I'll explain to you kind of what the process is in a second, but I'm going to do this journey of fat loss. Starting from kind of today where I'm going to give you my actual weight and I'll post that on the Instagram and my Facebook pages on my uh, stories. And I'm gonna continue doing that every single day because I'm gonna have this journey, this process that I want you to join in with me. So at the moment, like many people, I guess, uh, during the lockdown period here in the UK, um, you may have put on a few pounds here and there. It doesn't mean you've been eating like an asshole. It just means that your eating habits haven't perhaps been what you would normally do. A lot of things, regards to food and our nutrition and our diet, is very reliant on our, our habits, our patterns, and our routines. And our routines have gone out the window massively during the lockdown and the coronavirus kind of stuff. So, like many of you people, like I said, you may not everybody, but you may gain a few pounds. Now, I made some adjustments in my actual physical activity because obviously the gyms are closed, um, by adding an hour of walking every day, pretty much every day, probably sort of, you know, six out of seven times, depending on how busy I am with seeing other family members and even with work um, in general. But an hour's walk every day, pretty much, is something I've added in to counteract that sort of sedentary, more lifestyle that I've perhaps had because I haven't been able to work in the gym environment and, and, and that sort of thing. So um, I put on a little bit of weight, not loads, but if I hadn't made those adjustments, I would have had put on more. Uh, so my current body weight is 128.3 kilos. That's as of this morning, before I've eaten, before I've had to drink, out of bed, in the nod. That's naked, for those people who don't understand my lingo. Weigh myself on the scales, and I got that number. Um, so that's, in pounds wise, I think it's a hundred, to 282 pounds, I believe, that's sort of ballpark. When I do my posts and I'll convert them into pounds for you guys who do sort of uh, the imperial system, uh, pounds and stones and things, um, more so in the UK here, um, which is really not loads higher, but it's a couple of kilos higher than I normally sit. Um, but what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this time, because the the, the COVID-19 and the coronavirus has kind of wiped out all my competition now for pretty much 12 months. There'll be a couple coming around, so I'll aim for those. But my training is going to be uh, not worried about competitiveness. It's going to be worried about me getting stronger. So my training is going to be focused on that. And I'm going to have this sort of 10, 12-month period now where I don't have to worry about for that, about my competitions. So I'm taking this time to drop my weight down to where I know from experience, I'm healthy, I'm fit, I'm strong, and I just feel really good. So, if we talk about pounds again, so at a minute I'm about 282, 282 pounds, which puts about 20 stone two, 20 stone three, that sort of ballpark. Um, I'm gonna drop myself down to about 18, 18 and a half stone, which situates me to be in the position of about 265, ish pounds 260 265 and now like i said i know when i'm there i feel good my strength isn't impinged in fact i feel stronger because i can get more volume in because i'm not gassing myself out um, and in fact hopefully i even perhaps even drop down a weight class lifting anyway when i do that but the reason i'm doing this is i'm going to document it every single day because i want you guys out there who have started the fat loss journey in the past, have struggled a little bit, or are continuing on doing this, and you might have struggled 
doing it and maintaining it through this lockdown period here in the UK or in the US or wherever you guys are during this pandemic that's happening, that we can, I can demonstrate to you the challenges that I've been, I, will, I will face, not all, might, potentially, that I will face and how I overcome them. And it's not just a case of will I put less food in my face, it's a case of if I, you know, if my weight goes down for, three, for two weeks in a row and then up by a couple of pounds and I go, oh, fuck, what's going on? Very easily that can be twisted and said, oh, well, I've gained weight, what's the point continuing? But mentally and how I approach that problem and overcome that problem is the key. So that's what a lot of people out there, you guys hopefully watching this, who may have suffered with that and may even find that that's going to be really helpful. So because I'm going to be doing this journey every single day, I'm going to be updating you guys on my Instagram page and my Facebook page. And I'll dabble a little bit on Twitter as well, um, which I'm going to pop in the uh, description below here. And we're doing this journey with you. It's not, like I said, I'm going to drop about 20, 20 pounds, 21 pounds-ish um, to get to where I want to be. Um, but the idea is for you guys to understand that it's not a bang quick fix. I can cut weight quite quickly. I can cut three kilos in a day. I've had to do that before for competitions, for my meat. But it doesn't mean that's a good thing. And that's not fat loss scenario. That's just a water cut. So cutting weight is different to a fat loss approach. So we're going to be doing this over a long period of time. I'm not talking about four weeks. I'm not talking about eight weeks. I'm talking about 12 weeks. I'm talking about, you know, uh, 20 weeks or however long it's going to take me to get there. And when I'm there, I'm going to maintain that. So the journey that I'm going to take you through is what I will face every day for the next sort of um, three months, potentially, how long it takes me to get to there. And my journey is going to be different to yours because I'm a different person to you. You know, if you struggle, if you lose five pounds in the first week and then you haven't lost anything for two weeks, that's absolutely fine. That's some people's journeys. If you don't lose anything for a week or two and then drop massively seven pounds, two pounds, whatever it is, that's your journey. But the important thing is that we have this patience. We build up the process, we trust it, and then we continue on and build a sustainable life, a sustainable fat loss process, and a sustainable healthy weight when you are where we want to be. Now, don't have a goal in mind because I find that deflects a little bit away from kind of the process. So if you think, I want to lose a stone, where does a stone come from? That's just a random number you've picked out. Oh, I want to weigh seven stone five. I want to weigh 10 stone. I want to weigh this amount of money. It's still what I've weight, sorry. It takes away that. Just continue on doing what you what you, what you do on this process, what we do on this journey. And if you do it with me, great. And then when you feel really good and you're happy where you are, perfect. The scales are relevant, but they're going to be used as a tool to making sure I'm on progress. How, what, what that weight says, what the scale says is absolutely pointless in the overall picture. It's just to keep me honest, to keep me switched on, to make sure that you guys can see what happens to the scales. Because do you think that it will be from starting, starting here, A, starting here, B, it's gonna be a straight linear line? Hells no. It's gonna be a zigzaggy kind of twirly wordy uh, line that's gonna go, in your favor sometimes and against what you want it to do sometimes. So this whole process for me is really to kind of guide you in to a position where you know, you're not alone, you have me, you have the experience, you can watch what I do. At the end of the, the, the time when I've hit the weight that I'm gonna be hitting, you know, I'm gonna do a bit of a debrief, talk you through all the processes and the things that I'm, you know, uh, that I've hit along the way and the um, how I've overcome the challenges because challenges will happen it's how you deal with challenges and the and the problems that occur that's the important part so i'm going to show you firsthand what i'm going to be doing in those times so along the journey depends how long this takes i am getting married in september so in a two and a half months ish so that's something that may come into it but i'm going to show you obviously some of the food that i'm eating and that you don't have to eat just lettuce all the time you don't have to you know you can eat the food you kind of enjoy, as long as it's part of this balanced, sustainable diet. I'll also talk you through how to actually calculate your calories, because one of the things that I'm gonna be doing throughout this, because it worked awesome for me, is counting my calories. And also what I do so it's not so regimented. 
um, and I'm going to have a, a discussion a little bit of post on that in a bit actually I'll do that straight after this and how I kind of go through my calories itself um, but I'm going to post this on my Instagram uh, my actual weight today in about 20 minutes uh, so once this video is uploaded on, on YouTube you guys can see this straight away you can go straight to my Instagram and you can see that post and you'll see um, on the journey along from there and every day I'm going to post my story and so you can follow my journey and if you guys want to do it along with me live so today is the 26th uh, 27th sorry of Jan uh, June 2020 and I'll be doing this every day if you want to join in you want some support you want to uh, kind of get involved in it just let me know and I can answer questions I can go things through with you and we can have a, a fun we can solve problems have that support structure you may not have necessarily at home maybe you're on your own maybe you don't have a massive following with a family or friends that are kind of backing you up necessarily on this um, but I will be doing it and you can do it with me if you want to do so okay so awesome I look forward to doing this uh, at the end of the period I look forward to kind of doing uh, a review of the process so you guys can see everything going on and I'm excited for that really and hopefully you guys get lots of benefit from this um, and I'll be doing more things like this hopefully in the future particularly if it helps one person all it needs to do is to help one person so leave your comments below on my YouTube which is Pacific's Training now Pacific's Training is uh, the Instagram handle and also the Facebook that's S-P-E-C-I-F-I-X training t-r-a-i-n-i-n-g on both instagram and um facebook so find me on that you'll see on my story every single day this whole process and also the first post i'll post today about the journey itself all right so peace out guys hopefully that's going to help you out and i'm really look forward to doing this and i look forward to hearing from you guys uh, who are going to do this with me um we'll have a lot of fun